Hello everyone, Philosync back again with the Raid Shadow Legend. Uh, how is everyone? Hope you're enjoying your Friday. Hope you're enjoying the nice weather. Hope you're making the very boat the very best of it. It's ridiculously hot up here in sunny Scotland, which we don't say much because it's normally very bad weather. But the weather's nice, so can't complain. So in this one. I've been in Dragon, I've been doing certain comps uh, and having fun in Dragon 25 with two champions. Uh, one of them we're going to kind of showcase by looking at his kit, looking at him, and then potentially we'll do a run somewhere. I've been having pretty much mainly fun with Dragon, so potentially we'll go into there. So. Dark Kale is a champion you can get from Doom Tower, Secret Rooms, as you progress you get fragments to effectively get him in the future. Uh, he looks pretty badass, he looks really cool. He does look like Kale, um, apart from minor changes. The green mist is extremely cool. The shard on the belt is extremely cool. Now here... He is a level 50 and I've still been having fun with him. So I'll show you, because we can't go over the, the base stats realistically, I normally, normally do that when they're 60. We'll look at how he's built. So he currently has 32,889 HP, 1700 attack, 2000 defense, 164 speed. I'm going to glyph it potentially, when I get a banner that might push it up considerably. 58% crit rate, 100% crit damage. Resist not important. Maybe important. But the plan was to give him accuracy uh, so we could land his debuffs because that's basically what makes him so fantastic. So attacks on enemy three times, each hit has a chance to instantly activate two poison debuffs or one poison and a HP burn debuff. Now this move is good because in the compositions I was working with earlier, I had Calvalax and other Poisoners. In with Kale, and the more poisons we put up, we could activate some. We still had a really full debuff bar. But I also tried this champion with Drexstar because Drexstar can put up HP burn because of his passive. Uh, and if you activate it, you can do a good amount of damage. So this A1 for me is very, very strong. It's super fun. The animation is super fun. Binding Darkness, AoE goes to 100% chance to place decrease attack debuff for 2 turns, each crit has a 75% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the target by a turn. Doesn't have full crit, I might look into it, I kind of, I went for a non damage build just so I could focus on his debuffs uh, and the HP burn and so forth. But decrease attack on an AOE basis is quite nice, 3 turn cooldown. Uh, and the increasing of the debuff duration is also really good. Especially, you will get a champion that you want to kill, so... If you've got poisons that are 3 turns, you can make them 4 turns, then by all means, it's not going to harm you. Reality Acid. So, chance of placing 3 poisons and a poison sensitivity debuff for 2 turns and a 3 turn cooldown. This uh, reminds me of Narma because she does something very similar. But this on Dragon, even Dragon 25 when he gets there, it, it's awesome. I like the animation, I like the triple poison, I like the poison sensitivity because Banshee came in and we've slowly been introduced to other champions that have this poison sensitivity. Uh, if I kill to have it with his kit which is kind of focused around poisons, Activating poisons, it's extremely fitting. And it, the three turn on a two turn on a three turn cooldown is also really cool. Delirium decreases the crit rate of enemies under two decreases the crit rate of enemies. Sorry, under two or more poison debuffs, they're they're potentially going to be under lots of poison, so that's cool. And if there are multiple champions on this team with a skill, only one will activate. In other words, if you have multiple Dark Kyles 
only one will activate. There's no masteries because we just built them up to have some accuracy. We built them up to just have some fun with them. So, I mean, we can just quickly take a look. Because it's what we do sometimes, I'm just going to go 12 6 and we're quickly going to get rid of you, get rid of you. And then we are going to, Dark Kyle, I'm just going to tap you. We want to see the animations and how cool they look. Uh, I'm also planning on having fun. I need to do potions. And I think he could be extremely cool. Especially because I have Elenaro. So AoE decrease attack is the first one. And I'm also really happy with how tanky this champion is. So decrease attack. This is first choice move. It looked okay. The reality acid. Three poisons and the poison sensitivity. Let's just uh, go here. It's also a pretty cool kind of mage kind of animation. If we go auto, it's just a three hitter, which activates said debuffs we've applied. So we definitely need to make sure we have the accuracy to land what we need to land. It's obviously not enough for uh, enough for dungeons. I'm Realistically, if you can get him an unkillable team with the correct speed, clan boss. But we would need more accuracy for... Definitely need more for, what's it called, Doom Tower. And all the poisons, we're just healing up. And it turns out level 50 Kale is a very high chance of completing 12-6. I doubt he's going to complete 12-7. Might be interesting to try off camera, see if anybody's having any issues. Put a poisoner in, and they're all okay. It's fine. Let's do some damage. Perfect. Lord Cesar, you suck. Go away. And there you have it. If you're not looking for a quick farm time, Dark Kale can do 12-6 Brutal. I'm going to try 12-7, because if we fail, then we'll be going back in again. And then we don't want to do that and go back in and go back in. But we have been having some fun poisoning Dragon with him. Uh, I was on 25 before with certain teams. <coughs> Pardon me. But with, uh, I mean, it's like 90 plus percent that it's going to work. But for the video, because he's 50, we'll cut him a small bit of slack. And we're just going to, because we have super res, we'll show you kind of how it works. It's, it's the exact same as the difficulties kind of rise up. Uh, 25, he's still really good as a 50. If you have support. Um, the biggest issue, 25 is probably wave 2. There's a good bit of turn meter manipulation there. There's some respectable damage there also. I mean, we can get through it, it takes some time. but and There you go, one down. We've got the debuffs are filling up. And I had Calvalax in our team also. I also had Drexter Bloodman. So with Drexter in the same team as Dark Kill, and the passive procs and they get HP burn because they've attacked him, Kale has a chance of activating it and doing instant damage. Which is always good. I had Calvalax in here, throwing up a crap load of poisons, so therefore we had a chance to increase the duration of those. We also had a high chance of doing a crap with our damage to pretty much all the enemies. Your main threats are Apothecary because he's he's really good, he's underrated. My Apoth versus yours. Let's go. We'll see who stands first. Extra turn, extra turn. I love my relentless Gorgorab, he's fantastic. 
and we have two again the $50 champions at the side are realistically the main concern self buff but we're going to melt them down we're just going to melt them down that's it and it's really really cool to see that you have a champion that you can put in a team with kill and they will synergize well because they both have poison they both have multi hits Respectable damage. I'm assuming Dark Kill, even as a 50, could hit respectively hard, but I had the regen gear. And being 50, I wanted to give him a, a small amount of just sustainability so he would stay alive rather than dying straight away. Hence why he's actually got more HP than my level 60 Relentless Kill. I think the accuracy obviously is higher on Kale, but my level 50 build, I'm still really quite proud of it. It's pretty decent. And we're looking over two and a half minutes. We're at the boss. So Horden take, oh, they're both down. So 244, 245, let's go. If anything goes wrong, we have Gorgrab to revive. Realistically, it shouldn't. When we have three poisons and then poison sensitivity, three more poisons, the debuff bar is at eight already. It's ridiculous. So, as we crack on and we're killing this boy, we're doing crap with our damage. So, take a turn, dragon, take a turn, check all of those poisons. Let my kids away to our grandma soon. In case you hear it in the background. And we're just... We're destroying this dragon. We are destroying this dragon. A fun champ. He goes with a HP champion. Any HP cha burn champions he can go. Um, you can go with any poisoners. He can go with Fire Knight. He's, I've been having fun in dragon. Hence why I've just been... Making teams with 50s or... But not in seeing kind of how much damage we can get done. It's normally Kale does more damage than Dark Kale, then Dark Kale does more damage than Kale. Kinda kinda goes back and forth. So when the, when the dragon takes a turn, it's game over. And then I'm gonna grab my coffee and see the kid before she leaves. But Let's just compare damage. The brothers in arms that took hardly any time to kick the dragon's ass. Still over a million damage, level 50. 2.3 million damage from Kale. And that's going to do it for this one. Guys, I'm going to check on the kids, so stay safe. Keep on reading. I love you all. See you soon.